Good afternoon. Welcome to my laboratory. All right, one more time with the Ed A's perpetual motion. Here, what I've got is uh, one of those hard drive magnet keeper plates, and it's tied to a string of thread, some of the round thread right off the spool, and. Uh, It is, it is uh, not magnetic. There's no residual magnetism on that thing. So now what I'm going to do is just dangle it on this fresh thread. I haven't done this before. So you and I are all seeing it for the first time. And I guess you can see that it is spinning counterclockwise. Just as we have seen the magnets in Ed A's demonstration spin counterclockwise. Okay, so now we have a non-magnetized piece of iron or steel or mu metal or whatever it is spinning, just like the magnets did when suspended by a piece of thread fresh off the roll. All right, stay tuned for the next demonstration. All right, so here we have a ball magnet stuck up there on the mount and here I have a drywall screw with the nylon fishing line from, dangling from it and at the bottom of that nylon fishing line I have the uh, hard drive magnets okay so there's the top pivot suspension hard drive magnets and there they're released. No spin. So how about if I just give it a little counterclockwise spin to start it? Looks like ordinary torsion pendulum behavior. Now here's the kind of surprising thing. We thought that this point pivot system would be a really good low friction bearing, but it turns out that the, uh, the bearing that I used in the previous demonstration, the ball bearing, actually has less friction than this arrangement. The ball bearing could only store about two full twists of the cord before it released and spun out those twists. This arrangement here, even though it feels like it has pretty low friction, actually allows uh, ten, or so, 10 twists or so before it uh, will slip and allow the tension to be released. I'm down here spinning the magnet manually to try to get it to actually to turn and twist the drywall screw. So that's why we see just regular 
torsion pendulum behavior of the magnet. So the control experiment with the non-magnet metal plate shown to spin just as well on a thread as the magnets do and the demonstration from the previous video where I used the low friction bearing and the untwisted or non-twisted fishing line uh, demonstrates to me anyway that the cause of the spin is the thread unwinding. There's no external force causing spin produced by the rotation of the earth as Ed A. conjectured in his original demonstration. That's it. Another one bites the dust. Low-hanging fruit. Thank you for watching.